Let's rank our cousins. Well, Betty stinks. That's great. That man was born to be a cousin. Gary, not worth the hype. Jeremiah, the definitive cousin experience. See, I am completely unbiased when it comes to critiques. If I can hit my cousin Betty, surely you can take my opinion on the virtual boy to heart. Oh my god! Ooh, well, Wii U gamepad functionality. Yeah, because doing this playing Mass Effect 3 feels badass. <laughs> the button hurt my finger. Fellas, fellas, I am so horny! I was once a chaperone for school dances, but then I realized I was contributing to society. Hi, my name's Jeb Jeb, and this right here is a piece of sh**. Don't you want to be like me, doing absolutely nothing in life, so there's more or less pressure to perform? Rex Moe's here and I do. We're the Waste Chasers. You're helping us by helping you be more wasteful. From this job, I bought 30 acres of farmland. What are you gonna do with it? We'll waste anything. Your time, energy, people. But according to our lawyers, we can't advertise murder on TV, so I'm obligated to say that we're kidding. Call us now to schedule your appointment. Confirm it by wasting money. This is the Waste Chasers. Do we need gas? No. Nah. Let's get some. You work for the Waste Chasers? I prefer the term, we work for the Waste Chasers. And how well can you guys waste? Sign this. Why? No reason. You're hired. All right, yeah. Hey, yeah, see your problem? This wall's being utilized. I was actually wondering if you could teach me how to waste with this. Oh, that's what our entire organization was built off of. Waste Chasing was founded by our great boss, Dex. We believed our great nation wasn't wasting enough time, potential, money, air. It turns out Skylanders were the perfect alibi. Hey, boss, can we have some Skylanders? Yes, please. What is your boss, 15? 14, you ass! Aren't there child labor laws? Legally speaking, it's better the child employs me than me employ the child. Well, what do you think? It's perfect. Let's order another set to be safe. And you want to talk about cartridge-shaped garbage? Take a gander at Chibi Robo Ziplash. This game blows! Apparently this game has strong language and violence. Language? Eh, I mean, there's some words you might see on CBS from time to time, but nothing you couldn't say in a church parking lot. Violence? Yeah, this left an impression on me. Hey y'all, Scott here, and I have to say, I'm pretty tired of the whole having a reputation thing, so I decided to upload a video of me eating cereal to a pornographic website. Popping this cartridge in and turning it on. It's me, Mario! Hello! Oh my god, he has a face?! Seven Sprixy princesses are at the end of the first seven worlds awaiting their rescue. They all have different hairstyles. Seven, seven, eight, four, two, eight, five. Square Enix fans, does this ever happen to you? So you, you got incredibly depressed over the announcement of a game in a series that you aren't even a huge fan of to begin with in the first place. That's right. Who the f*** is this guy?! Nice. There's gonna be f***ing stages?! Hi, I'm Nintendo. I'm disappointing. Toledo, Ohio, stay a while. There's a Burger King down the road. Toledo, Ohio, don't get killed here. Toledo, Ohio, everybody's your dad here. So to pick up where you left off in games, you either had to keep the game console running indefinitely or something you have to explain to your parents. I don't want them thinking I play Mega Man 4. What is this? Uh, coordinates for a bomb. Plus, what kind of passwords are these? Like you try to get into a club and they ask, what's the password? C764. Adults only is by far the rarest rating with only 27 games rated as such. Now there's really not a ton of games rated AO for a few reasons. One of them being the fact that most AO rated games are basically the Nintendo DS headset. That's right. You could use this with Pokemon and Brain Age. You do math like a bitch. Put a gun in my head, I choose the ape over you. I doubt it. Yeah. Get a gun out! The game stars this flashlight, some grass, a few trees, and... Oh shit, it's a white guy! Hey y'all, Scott here. So, it's about that time. Let's have... The talk. Let's talk about birds, bees, hell, even sex. I've gone across the country teaching the proper education professionally, and I've learned it all from this here book. So, let's start with chapter one, Luigi's Mansion.
I gotta make some calls. The sheer amount of massive industry-defining games to come out of this E3 is unprecedented. Prior years felt like growing pains, but E3 2001 it truly does feel like where E3 became E3 from there on out. Wait a second. No, I'm just confused. Okay, well I think we should head back to the party. But we don't want anybody to know what we're doing back here. We gotta come up with a good excuse. Well, what happened to you? Oh, he beat the shit out of me. I second that. You see, a big part of homecoming was asking somebody on a date. All you had to do was grab a poster board, think of some pun, and ask him out. It was all about flashiness over function with those things. As long as you were memorable and had a pun involved, nobody cared. Don't worry if you didn't play it perfectly, because there's no one way to play a song. He's right. Let's start with the Xbox Shampoo, coming to us from Lynx, after I try my Beats headphone soup. It's the Xbox Staple Green, which makes me happy there's no Nintendo Switch variant. Uh... Basically, it allows Xbox on your head like never before. At the end of the day, solid shampoo, no real downsides outside of hair loss. Avoid contact with eyes. What's your stance on lips? We play. Do you? Is that a threat? We play a vu. Is a una manas? We play itu. Is is a una amanaza? Closed, it's roughly the same size as an old iPod Touch, so at least you have a reason to go all digital. Because the original PSP, man, putting that in your jeans, it would easily give you what I refer to as PSP leg. What's wrong with him? He's playing Daxter. Now we're playing the Genesis original, black box and all. Jesus! Lucky shot. Through all of its only six zones, easy boss fights, unfair challenges, enemy placement and design, stupid dumb and stupid special stages, I think I actually hate this game. Yeah, this game actually reeks. Sega. Son of a bitch, I'm so lucky! The download codes can still be a bit much sometimes. Like, Nintendo. You're willing to make room for a damn carrying case in your bundles, but not room for an actual game case? Ooh, look at me, I'm Nintendo. I'm saving the environment by only using digital codes. This bundle also includes free ethanol. So rules limit us to complete cocktees? Can I have a refill? gonna be a judge. Yeah, I wouldn't have warned this. I'm Judge Absence. Welcome to the litigation station, the brand 9 out of 10 lawyers recommend. And with that, I'm gonna pass it off to my judge in training. I'm gonna be your judge this evening. Only here because my mom made me get a summer job. It's in September. What a waste of an ape! I have a star. Thankfully, when the Nintendo DS hit the scene, Nintendo wised up and gave us plastic cases for their handheld games, and this was a big deal to me. This made the DS feel like a home console on the go! Not only did it launch with Super Mario 64, but the games came in DVD-like cases, just like home consoles! And not only that, it had a power button! Not some power switch, it had a button, just like home consoles! That was honestly a really cool thing to me back then. Take it! Cheers! Some sound effects come through the Wii remote now, which is cute. Though any sound that comes through this speaker makes me feel like I'm drowning. And vice versa. Holy sh! I thought I was playing Mario! We play. Do you? Is that a threat? We play a vu. Is a una manas? We play itu. Is a is una amanaza? Alright, you know what? That's the last f***ing straw! Alright, I don't f***ing need this! Alright, f*** you! F*** this! And f*** tennis! Sonic Colors Ultimate, what? Can this company do right? Come on, man, I asked for water. All right, what's up, virgins and virgins? I got big news for you all. Dick Bike tells us that Baby College is not the only sports game you can play. Look at this. What the f is that? But here we have the big boy, the Cabell's Big Game Hunter accessory. This is about as complicated as a Wii Zapper, but this feels much more like an actual gun. There's even a crosshair that you can sync up with the game so you can use it to aim down sights. All right, it's time to shoot whatever comes up. This game disappointed the hell out of me. It wasn't surprisingly good, it wasn't memorably bad, it wasn't even sexy enough. It just left me feeling empty on Sweetest Day, which who could have expected that? 
Uh, now what? Wanna go to Bass Pro Shop? This is Bass Pro Shop, your one-stop shop to making up for not giving a shit about Onichambra. Is why they're still in business. You think it's all about fishing and hunting, but no, they sell all kinds of things here, like magazines. Bugs, salt, and guns are my three favorite things. Put them all together, it's all over. There's so much damn food here. Fish fryers, hot sauce, Bass Pro Shop soup, socks? The ultimate wolf socks to be exact. Hell, even moon pies. I'm a country boy, damn it. Look at the ambiance. This puts me in the perfect mindset of, that's right, I do want to fucking kill those things. The Cabela's action play set. If you want to use your imagination, pretend you're hauling a boat. Anything's possible here, but not everything's possible. So here's my Bass Pro Shop haul. Uh, first up, I bought bear spray. Uh, helps get a bear away from ya. Or you could just shoot it. Fruit roll-up trays, I love the candy. Ground meat freezer bags. Uh, bear bell, uh, attached to belt or pack when hiking, camping, or fishing in bear country. I guess it makes it easier for a bear to find you. Hot sauce, pleasure and pain. Only Charm was a fluke, I had to make up for it somehow. Uncle Buck shredded jerky chew. Wait, that is shoe shine. All right, we can wash down accidentally consuming shoe shine with some moon pies. You know the old saying: pop on a huck hat. I think they forgot a Y. And finally, show off my synthetic raccoon urine. Of course, you may say, Jesus, Scott, really synthetic raccoon piss? And to that, I say, don't worry. The fox one is real. Well, that's how I spend my sweetest day. Maybe next Valentine's Day we can play something a little more lewd. But in the meantime, if I showed you that. It's okay to be alone in times like this. And just focus on yourself and your hobbies. And eventually, you'll find your right person. And it'll all make sense. Not me, though. I'll stick to ignorance. It's one of the most memorable experiences to have as a fan, for better or for worse. Waiting for new information, counting the days till the release, getting a final name, holy sh**. Okay, I'm a mess. My name's Ben and we'll figure it out later, Limbo, ever since I was born. I don't know how to deal with this. I've been going off with a fucking rocker. And just to show you how insane I've been lately... I ate here! I don't need a lawyer! You can just keep kicking a guy until they eventually die. Other enemies around will practically never do anything to you, and if they will, it's always a telegraphed attack where you hit the Y button when that appears. Who knew the kick was mightier than the sword? Oh, 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 yes, let's display all Wii U titles shown off during this presentation and eliminate games that were already released on other platforms or were already announced or shown off in an early form prior. Welcome back to Buzz Because. Whoever buzzes in fastest doesn't give a about the Wii U! This was never a personal favorite of mine. It's always something where I was worried somebody would notice me playing. Is that all oh, Man, yeah, we were pre game at the homeless shelter earlier today, and then we went pick a blade on the side of the road. It was great. Well, I donated blood in the car. It was great. Hey, guys, condoms, right? Why aren't you fing? Technically, any copy of any game can be slightly altered to become the rarest version of that game. See? Here? Look. One of a kind. All right, I think I figured it out. See, these are potentially the rarest games of all time. One of these may just be the rarest game of all time. And after all the research, after all the eBay searches, I've come down to which one would give me the most unique game collection of them all. Which one is, in fact, the rarest game of all time? It's Sonic 2 with a line! It's a Wii version of Beer Pong. Now, I'm definitely gonna be critiquing this one hard. It better live up to Beer Pong's legacy. I know everything about the sport. Blue 42, hike, hike. What the f? What the f? Why are there ghosts every fucking where? What did you do? Dude! Everywhere fucking ghosts? That's not okay! It's not okay! Yeah, Jesus Christ. Riddle me this, Nintendo. Why can't I name my character Mr. Ass, but I can look up dead dogs on the Wii U's web browser? Finally, the cure for all sex. Minecraft. I made Lowe's. Well, you'd think that means we can't access these Wii channels anymore. Wrong! We can access them with a hacked Wii.
so we can't access them. Yes, you were looking at the one-time champion of too f***ing stupid to use a hacked Wii. Listen, I wanted to play Wii Dare, it was a European game, so I hacked my Wii, tried to load it through that, it would get past the Ubisoft logo, freeze, I ended up just buying a European Wii U. If I can't do something as simple as play a European game, how do you expect me to play something that doesn't technically exist anymore? Well, I can sure as I'll try, there's a fan continuation of Wii Connect 24 called ReConnect 24. Let me see if I can handle this. I can just look at old footage. Sonic 3D Blast wasn't primarily developed by Sega's Sonic team or any of the other in-house developers. Rather, it was created by Traveler's Tales. Who are these guys? Well, they developed Pugsy. Why did those have to be my last words? But for some reason, when it comes to gaming press conferences, the bar is immediately raised. They're not just some sap answering questions. We open up with an explosion. Some guy comes out on stage yelling, F you, here's Wario. Hey you. <gasps> That's me. Are you strictly going by an anti-scam agenda? Same here. That's why I started Scamo, a club that is hell-bent on eliminating all scams. All you have to do to join is pay a monthly fee, and the best part about it is when you refer others to Scamo, we'll even pay you for it. It's totally cool, right? We stay up late, make money, hanging out, we make some more money. It's just like a real group of friends. You can clearly see here how Scamo works. Now, a lot of pro-scam folk out there would say, well, that just looks like a pyramid scheme. I mean, I'm no geometrist, but uh, that's a triangle. He's right. So the club of your dreams is just a measly $200 a month away. Fight scams, get paid. It's a club for the rest of us. Here's a glowing testimonial of Scamo. You gotta be ruthless out there. You can't dance around them getting the membership card. Remember, you're not out there to make a friend. You're out there to make a sale. No manners, no subtlety. Join our membership, f**khead! Of course, these don't take up any less space if you don't start to comprehend the power of one millimeter of cardboard. These are the full-size game boxes in here. The outer sleeve is just kinda neat. Fresh bonus, use it for food. Sony did this a ton with greatest hits releases. You can get some double packs of games this way, and a handful of GameCube and Xbox releases were like this as well. But I want a deal and more space for my feet. Well, the Game Boy Advance was truly a safe haven for value pack games. The Shark Tale and Trek 2 combo cartridge, when you just can't pick who to shoot. Jesus Christ, could this run any slower? Yes. The Wii Remote, bringing motion control to the masses. Now, they weren't the first to utilize this functionality, but they were the first to make it accessible and seamless. Sony put out the iToy for the PlayStation 2 before. <laughs> But there was nothing to set up with the Wii Remote. There was nothing to learn. It was so natural. Everybody could use it. Okay, well, not everybody. Every now and then you have the opportunity to play a one-on-one -on -one partner game, and that's where that Wii Dare magic comes into play. These mini games can be pretty intimate, squeezing your faces together with a Wii Remote between them. Just another Wednesday. Eating the apple by hitting buttons with your face can get really competitive playing with the guys. Fuck you. You. Battleship, a game all about keeping your ship formation secret. A, a, a mole, a mole! How does nobody notice this? He's watching every move I make! Really makes you think, looking back through history, but oh my god. Lights out, all right, let's all charge him. He won't know what to do. Stop. I'm joining the army. Oh god, he's chasing me! Yeah, he's chasing me too. Stop making this about yourself. You're welcome. Give me that. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Donkey Kong was targeting me that whole game. He always knows where I am. Now, Sonic 1 and 2 were actually originally released on mobile years before they were updated to be the Christian Whitehead versions. Yeah, these weren't great. Sonic Spinball was originally on the App Store, but was later delisted. Damn it! So the story starts. Chibi Robo is cleaning a space shuttle. I don't give a sh**. Luckily, I was diagnosed with a little thing I like to call street smarts. The next generation of gaming is upon us. It's time to upgrade. No! No! So I guess we just have to live with the fact that some games, they're meant to be on PC with a keyboard and mouse. And if we want to play them, well, we're just going to have to log off WikiHow. And I'm too busy using my keyboard and mouse not paying off my loans to play video games with them. I would love to get into PC gaming, believe me. Was that believable? And I've accepted the fact that PCs and I get along about as well as not me and not PCs. It just, it, it wouldn't work out. I would love to play The Sims 2 Pets, but I just don't have time to use a keyboard and mouse. Did I say keyboard and mouse? I meant states of matter. Hey, f***er, you like chess? Yeah. 
And I hate pointing! Introducing Wii Chess, finally. Chess you can't feel. Wanna play chess and nothing else? Yeah, what does it look like? I like pointing? Introducing Wii Chess, the only chess game on Wii called Wii Chess. Featuring a pre-existing engine and acting like it's a major feature when in reality using a pre-existing engine is a lot easier than making a brand new one from scratch and acting like it's a big feature on the back of the box. F pointing. Introducing Wii Chess, it's perfect if you wanna try new things. <laughs> Nintendo wouldn't do this to me. We are really close. We talk all the time. This is Nintendo customer support. Hi, my DS won't turn on. It's f***ing Mario Kart again! Alright, I think it's time. You guys ready to go to this funeral? Let's f***ing do this! With the casual appeal of systems like the DS and Wii, it became more apparent than ever how many non-gamers understood 2D gaming far more than 3D. 3D, you have to worry about a camera system, and it's like, fuck you, I already have a mortgage to deal with. A game like the original Super Mario Brothers, most players could deal with. Hell, many found it fun. Super Mario 64, join the occult, dad. Of course, in terms of life goals, I'd love to be an uncle. Problem is, I'm an only child, so the only way I can do that is by marrying somebody with a nephew. That's how they get you. Well, it's not like I have trouble doing anything like that. I'm more of a recreational virgin anyways. I can get married whenever I want. Watch. 911, what's your emergency? Please, f me. Okay, I'll do something. Hey all, Scott here, and this is bad, real bad. Hey, what's the matter, pussy friend? You're gonna get murdered. A little application with 3D models of Nickelodeon characters you can manipulate to create your own cartoon and listen. This was a big deal for me back then. I could realize some of my wildest dreams with this thing. Hi there, Carl. I can't stop! Do you smell it? I loved fiddling around with this. Kind of like how I felt with Disney Magic Artist Studio. Though this one, the joy came from creating the Rugrats episode I always wanted. Hi there, Carl! Do you smell it? And that's about it. Overall, not the most impressive out there. Holy sh! it comes with a poster. So you've barely played this game, and yet you hate it this much? No, I hate it way more than this much. You can't form an opinion on a game you've barely played. It's unethical. That's why we have HR. So I should play 10 hours of a game I already know I don't like just to have an opinion on it? Well, if you don't like it, don't play it! But how would I know I don't like it if I don't play it? Well, just stop doing stuff! Outside of growing large, the game is, uh... It's... It's just tennis! I am forwarding this message to everybody in my contacts list. If you stop by tonight, we can play... Gex. <gasps> Did not take you as a Gex fan. I'm not. I know you were lying, and I'll do anything not Gex related. Even Amiibo Festival? Yeah. Is it Gex night? I've been waiting for this for years. Yeah. Oh, I love Gex! I am forwarding this message to everybody on my contacts list. If you come over tonight, I will inform you how... your uncle just died. <sighs> Did not take you as somebody who had an uncle. I don't. I just couldn't believe my uncle died again. What if I told you your uncle didn't die, and you can celebrate by playing tennis? If there's one thing I hated more than my uncle, it's tennis. What's wrong with tennis? I don't know. I just never thought I was big enough to play. Like, if I could grow comically big while playing tennis, I'd give it a chance. Well, do I have an Ultra Smash for you. Yeah, as long as it's not Gex, I'm in. Oh, is it Gex Night? I love Gex Night. Didn't you get my message about your uncle dying? <laughs> he died for the third time? Yeah, let's fire up Gex. Fucking <laughs> lizard Gex. Oh my god. Oh, so if you were a Gex fan, you'd get that. I am forwarding this message to everybody in my contacts list. If you stop by tonight, we'll play... Don't lie, I've lied before and it's too fun. Chibi Robo Ziplash. <laughs> Did not take you as a Ziplash fan. I'm not. I knew you were lying and I'm finally willing to give Gex a shot. Oh no. It's the Gex 
Is anyone up for round Gex? What if I told you I didn't even own Gex and I wasn't lying about Ziplash? That's ridiculous. We played Gex that one time. That was a Meeple Festival. Well, that that was Ultra Smash. But that was a car wash we went through together. Hey, I heard you didn't own Gex. From myself? <laughs> yeah. Word gets around. You keep these on you? I thought you hated Gex. Hey, I cross reference that copy whenever I need to be reminded how much I hate Gex. Yeah. Yeah, f that lizard. All right, let's play Gex. You know what I like about Gex? Consistency. It's the middle of class in 2011, and all these kids are discussing politics. Which is better, the PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360? One of them asks, Scott, which one do you prefer? And you ruin your credibility. Nintendo. So, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna let some video game company push you around and tell you when to buy your games? Because where I'm from, every day is Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes launch day. And I don't sleep because of it. Now, the space generally reserved for manuals are used for DLC codes, terms and conditions, or advertisements. Can't wait to pop open Sonic Mania Plus. Ah! You know what I really need to do is buy a $500 console alongside a two grand TV set by a $60 controller to play this free game for $60. Oh, fucking brilliant! Air. Take it, you son of a bitch. One of my favorites back in the day was running, but now I'd rather just tape my Wiimote to a fan and let it play itself. So let's play a little game here to really get down to what makes a not for resale title expensive. Welcome to Cheap or Steep. Yes, finally an effective use for two minutes. This is Cheap or Steep. The game show hell bent on lacking purpose. Now onto our next order of business, contestants. That's how it's pronounced, do not contest ants. Terry Lessler. Hey, great to be here, big fan of answers. Glad to support the cause. Geriatrics! I eat question marks till just the period's left! And Jeb Jab! It's pronounced me. Well, I hope you all prepared for the afterlife being all you can look forward to after this. Our buzzer budget ran out, so we bought everybody guns instead. The answer's true! Our first game is Fable 3, not for resale. Is it cheap or steep? I think I'm gonna go with steep on this one. Oh, I am sorry. It is five dollars. It is cheap. Anybody else think they got the answer? Is the answer cheap? No, it's perfectly fair. Next up is The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past not for resale on Game Boy Advance. Is it cheap or steep? <laughs> cheap? The answer is around twenty-two dollars, which I don't know about your thoughts on the economy. <laughs> I love it. But to some people, that's pretty steep. I mean, it is just a demo after all. Any other takers? Steep? <laughs> that's your opinion. And now we're on to the final game. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Gray Not For Resale Game Cartridge. Is it cheap or steep? Steep! Incorrect. The answer is fucking steep. I was reported. Well, since I can't alter the space-time continuum myself to change it back how it used to be, I'm just gonna do what anybody who's in a world that believes that Dick Vitale's awesome baby college hoops is the only sports game you can play would do. Dick Vitale is a myth. I like Dick Vitale more like I don't like Dick Vitale. I drew devil horns on him, that's how you know he's bad. The police agree with me. That's what makes Brain Age special. It has some of the most basic, boring sounding content at its core, math but turns it into something where you want to get better at solving problems and faster at solving problems. Oh my god! That's five gallons of water! One of my favorite pastimes as a kid was to go to the dollar store. I live in Ohio, your hobby's either that or getting shot. Listen, it was all about walking in there with five dollars and leaving it with a weekend. I'll buy silly string there, that was so f 
fucking funny. I spent the only dollar I had on a whoopee cushion and wanted to let the world know, so I stomped on it and wasted one dollar. And then there was the ice cream section and all the office supplies, the snacks. I would buy banquet meals there. And we know that because I'll be dead in three years. Crash 4 was interesting as it shows just how far using a number can take you. Oh, these people must really mean business if they're willing to flunk math. So you have the first three games on PlayStation, then Crash 4 on PlayStation 2, The Wrath of Cortex. It wasn't numbered Crash 4 here, though it was in Japan. Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, disregards all games following the third on PlayStation. It's like the Halloween movies. You have the first one, then a sequel to it, then a third that has absolutely no connections. The fourth is a sequel to the second, then the seventh that regards everything after the second one with a sequel to it, then the ninth one is a reboot with its own sequel, followed up by the eleventh one, which is a sequel to the first movie, disregarding even the second one, which got its own sequels. It's just like Crash Bandicoot. Imagine and Clank's size matters on PSP. I get the title. It's just supposed to be a reference to being on a smaller screen. Cute. On PS2, the reference doesn't land. If it's not on a handheld, what does this mean? I have no earthly clue, which is why I prefer the version released in other regions. Ratchet and Clank, your c is small. Not only do I want to become a true enjoyer of all things video game, but I also want an excuse to go to this hospital near me. They're really cool. They got a vending machine and everything. Oh my god, this room is crazy. F my arteries. Let's pop this bad boy open, cook it up, and try it out. You know what? That's actually pretty good. I, let me check the ingredients on this bad boy. Oh, hell yeah. Shit, is that a pinball machine? Oh my god, my ass is bleeding. Fast forward to 2013, where Nintendo finally unveiled their Toys to Life competitor. Some garbage Pokemon figures that were only obtainable in blind bags exclusively at GameStop for use in a garbage eShop game for the Wii U. Hey, that must be the Pokemon Rumble U fan community again. I'm so happy we're all hanging out more. I'm just happy Home Invasion's in now. What are we looking for exactly? Probably a square. Well, Funny Place is gonna give us answers. It's here. Oh, sweet. Printer ink. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this one, eh? And there's a reason it has thousands of variants and Yahtzee doesn't. They can make a Goatopoly. They couldn't make a Goat Z. Right? And things get out of hand, that's where our trusty chaperone enters the picture. He's been violently conditioned to resist all forms of alcohol, drugs, violence, and sex, and most importantly, sex. But why do so many people like school dances? The way I see it, you can't spell homecoming without alcohol poisoning. No! You will not be disappointed in my services. I made the best playlist for kids that are half my age. It's all here on my trusty laptop. I thought that was a beer. You just don't get it, they're just kids. Well, the chaperone is getting psychologically conditioned to be all for alcohol, drugs, violence, sex, and most importantly, sex. This is a fucking disaster. I didn't want to push for sinning, and now that I am, and we got the chaperone pushing for it, people don't care. No! Oh. Sorry, man. I thought that wasn't a beer. Regardless, it was releasing in 1995, so get your face ready. With the ESRB being around for nearly 25 years, it's maintained its place as one of the most important aspects of the gaming industry. F*** that. With the inception of digital games, kids can buy as many M-rated games as they want. Like, kid walks into the store, buys PlayStation Network, bucks, goes home, buys Bloody McSexy in the game, and becomes Genghis Khan. Like, come on, I thought we got rid of that guy. Disregarding that, so many parents just buy their kids M-rated games with no second thought. They just don't look at the ratings and then blame the game for being too vulgar for their kids. Why don't you actually be a parent and regulate what media your child consumes rather than blaming the media itself? Different people are into different things. Things, meaning not every piece of media produced is gonna be G-rated. That's true concerning everything, especially video games. Most video games that garner controversy for being unsuitable for children are already rated M. But is that ever brought up when all these big shots who know nothing about video games talk about how video games are corrupting society? No, they just talk about how the newest Call of Duty is poisoning our children when, guys, guys, guys! It's absolutely ridiculous how hard it is for people to notice the bold black letter in the corner of these games. Well, I'm taking a stand. We need to expand the size of these things. It's for the kids. Since it needs Wi-Fi to operate, you don't get a game card with the set. Instead, you have to download a free app off the eShop. Which means anybody can get in on the fun, even if you don't buy the physical set. Oh yeah, I got Mario Kart Live. Show us the card. Didn't account for that question. But again, this is a digital only game. When it's gone, it's gone. They released a physical collector's edition, but it only came with a download code, which is stupid. What if I get the collector's edition and don't download the game before April? Yeah, I have Fire Emblem downloaded. Show us the f 
fucking car! Oh my god, look, we have four unlockable characters grayed out. Who could they be? Listen, I know that silhouette anywhere. I can't believe they added Grover Cleveland. But hey, I assume this would be best on Wii due to the pointer controls. What I got was a game that freaks out when a new color is introduced on screen. It always does that when purple happens. With great power comes great virginity. I will restore chastity to this world. I can beat Barrel Blast without having sex! Impractical. The door wasn't locked. My f sirens are going off. Goes off whenever somebody's trying to f You sure that wasn't an air monitor? As sure as I am cordial. Anybody trying to lose their virginity? I've loosened my virginity. <laughs> Do you know what that thing's capable of? It's a ticking time bomb of testosterone! Hey, I'm taking precautions. As somebody who's not a fan of sex, let alone your c**k, I have an obligation to society to prevent you from mating, okay? This thing ruined my family, and it gave us more of them. And I appreciate that, but the only way we can live in a sex-free community is by beating this game to break the curse. And I could use your help. Normally I'd cry and bitch about the thought of doing anything in relation to that game, but I'm a pretty open-minded kind of guy, okay? And I'd do anything to unban the act of no sex in society. I'm in. So the only way to stop f***ing is to start f***ing? Yep. And we're about to film our first sex tape. So many people have asked me to cover Pokemon, so I guess this is the best place to start. Pokemon Fruit Snacks. Oh, so this is what the franchise is all about. We have loads of fruity interpretations of everybody's favorite Pokemon, like Dopey, Sneezy, Bashful, the gang's all here. Even if I beat Barrel Blast, curse or no curse, it's not gonna make people stop doing what they want to do. As long as they're not hurting others or themselves, what gives me the right to want them to conform to what I am? All that matters is that I'm comfortable with myself. No matter how much changes, I'm always gonna be that virgin at heart, regardless of if I beat Barrel Blast or not. And I'm gonna. Oh, I'm beating this Donkey Kong game without having sex. Because I'm a virgin, damn it! Yeah! Get up! Just don't get up! I did it. Nah, I'm not trying to kill you. I'm just making eggs. Well, since I can't alter the space-time continuum myself to change it back how it used to be, I'm just gonna do what anybody who's in a world that believes that Dick Vitale's awesome baby college hoops is the only sports game you can play would do. Dick Vitale is a myth! I like Dick Vitale more like I don't like Dick Vitale! I drew devil horns on him! That's how you know he's bad! The police agree with me! But hey, Louise Peak is worth it for recording victory and defeat sounds in Wheel of Fortune alone. You got it. Special edition controllers, they're always a joy to see, plus you can usually warm picking these up because you can never have too many controllers. However, I never want anything to ever happen to these. They're too precious, that's why I don't have anybody over anymore. Yeah, so I kind of have this weird thing where I have to lick every controller that I see. <gasps> Donkey Kong! Alright, heavy rain! We open on a naked man in bed. Thanks for having me on such short notice. We offer express checkouts for a reason. I just really needed to talk to somebody with a PhD. I don't have a PhD. They forgot the you. You have FUD? I have FUD. Say, do you remember when I took a look at the first Sonic the Hedgehog game and realized that it's filled with design flaws and problems? <laughs> yep, the fans loved me for saying that.
On to Sonic 2. Water is back. Introducing Water ZEX Plus, the cooler, more anti pussy way of staying hydrated. It's Water ZEX Plus from Water Productions. This ain't your granddad's water. So I looked up some advanced Chia Pet techniques. All we need is some gloves and a hammer. We put the gloves on, take the hammer and swing. Damn it! Okay. This article name is starting to make a little more sense now. It started back in 2012, and Loot Crate decided the best way to get their name out there is to sponsor any being with a pulse online by sending them a crate to unbox on camera. Yes, I'm sure you've heard something along the lines of, Hey guys, Loot Crate sent me this. I love Loot Crate. Let's see what they included in the box this month. Oh shit, a sock. Alright guys, we're going to space. Remember your coats. I'll just pick one up on the way there. Terry Lessler, you'll be our treasurer. Geriatrics HR. Jeb Jeb, customer support representative. Rex Mo's moral support representative. Target employee, catering. Good thing I didn't pack clothes. Yeah, I'd like to file a complaint. Ready for liftoff. Cramming good luck charm down pants. Setting Tinder radius for 50 miles and beyond. <laughs> Hello, please? Yeah. Yeah, that's space. God, that's a lot of f***ing space. Yeah, space is a lot bigger up close. Alright, it looks like we have to take a left in about half a mile. Oh, I forgot to carry the three. Don't worry, I recognize this area. Keep going straight. Hey guys, so as the caterer here, I'm trying to figure out what to do. What would a Wendy's employee make? Food. All right, back to the drawing board. What, what was that? Something! Oh, we got a leak here. I f***ing hate circles! All right, listen, I'm your moral support rep, so this means a lot coming from me. We're f***ed. Listen, if we die, please tell me. Was it hey y'all or hey all? Hey guys, I made us Baconators. That's a Please f up more. Oh, who shot us? My money's on the working class. Uh, 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 uh. No, it can't be. My mortal enemy, cover athlete of Madden 09, Brett Favre! Oh, Scott. You'll pay for this. Favre, why are you doing this? That's the first of all, it's none of your business. For whatever reason, you despise Madden 09, so it looks like I'll have to deal with you myself. You can't kill us, it's illegal! Hey, anything's fair game in space. This round was planning to jaywalk. Let's get the hell out of here! We can't escape him! He just called Cuffter Sport, he's pissed. Oh god, he's docking! His troops are boarding the ship! Holy shit. it's the Green Bay Packers. All right, Favre, we're ending this. Guys, I know we're trying to mitigate our tropes here, but we can't let it affect who we are. The only way we're gonna win here is by being the best us we can be. There's one thing I hate more than the Green Bay Packers. It's sex. Honestly, deep down, I've always felt like I've been a Wendy's employee. Well, I've always been a vegan. I haven't. Is that a gun? No, it's Gex. resources to fire back. We have everything we need except for zinc. I already ate zinc. I'm on the thallium now. We need attention. Things aren't going our way. Vomit.
Hey, here's a nail. That'll work. Guys, we have enough. F it. Tired of you Madden 08 fans. I'm more of a Madden 09 guy, I swear! Far, all we're doing is looking for the blue border. Just let us go and everybody will be fine. And you think I have nothing to do with that. But you know what? I'm coming over to deal with you myself. What was that? Who saved us? Yes. Hey, Scott, no problem. Good luck out there. Thanks. I'd like to not file a complaint. Congratulations! You saved the world!